como río, río de agua viva, río de agua viva en mi ser. Alabaré, alabaré, alabaré a mi Señor. Señor, cuando el número de los redimidos y todos alababan al Señor, en eso no más, unos cantaban, otros oraban, pero todos alababan al Señor, oh, oh, alabaré, alabaré, alabaré a mi Señor. Alabaré, alabaré, alabaré a mi Señor. Happy, 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 happy in the Lord. Keeping God's commandment and trusting in His word. I want you to know God's promise is true. For I am happy, happy. Por favor, pose de pies. Happy, 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 arriba. Happy in the Lord. Keeping God's commandment and trusting in His word. I want you to know God's promise is true. For I am happy, happy in the Lord. I'm happy, happy, happy in the Lord. Keeping God's commandment and trusting in His word. I want you to know God's promise is true. For I am happy, happy in the Lord. He is all over me and He's keeping me alive. He's keeping me alive. He's keeping me alive. He is all over me. Jesus is keeping me alive. He's all over me and He's keeping me alive. Keeping me alive. He's keeping me alive. He is all over me. Oh, Jesus is keeping me alive. I have my joy like a river, joy like a river in my soul. Joy like a river, joy like a river in my soul. Joy like a river in my soul. Joy like a river in my soul. No es con espada, ni con ejército, mas con su santo espíritu. Y esos montes se moverán, y esos montes se moverán, y esos montes se moverán. Con su Santo Espíritu, how great is our God! How great is our God! How great, how great is our God! Sing with me, church. How great. Run with me, how great. How great is our God. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee.
es nuestro Dios gigante enorme how great is our God how great is our God how great is our God He saw God sing with me how great he saw God how great be how great how great he saw God how great He's our God. Sing with me, how great He's our God. Our Lord will see how great, how great He's our God. Put your hands together for the Lord. Aleluya.
our opening hymn, nuestro himno de apertura, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine, En Jesucristo Martí de Paz, 235 in the VIP. Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine, Oh, what a purchase of glory divine. Here was salvation, purchase of God, born of his spirit, washed in his blood. We are on page number three, página número tres, de orden de culto. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. For oh, what a fortress of glory divine. Head of salvation, precious of God. Born of his spirit, watching his Nuestras luchas y en el dolor, en tristes horas de tentación, Cristo nos llena de su vigor y da aliento al corazón. Watching and waiting, looking above, filled with his goodness, lost in his love. Praising my Savior, all of the Lord. Praising my Savior, all of the Lord. Praising my Savior, all of the Lord. Amen. Pueden sentarse, kind of seated. Let us fill in our hearts, minds, and souls as we go to God in prayer. Separemos nuestras mentes y corazones y continuamos con la oración. Todopoderoso y eterno Dios, quien por el Espíritu Santo nos ministras en nuestras debilidades y por la victoria de tu Hijo Jesucristo, nos has dado el compromiso de vida eterna. Levántanos, te pedimos, por encima de nuestra presencia, presente tristeza y pena. Derrama la luz de tu gracia y gloria sobre nosotros. A través del mismo Jesucristo nuestro Señor. Amén. We continue on page number four. Continuamos en la página número cuatro. Solemn moment. Momento solemne. We are met in this solemn moment 
to commend Sister Nome Isota Brown Duncan into the hands of the Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who sent his Son, Jesus Christ, to be our Redeemer, by whose stripes we are healed, and in whose name alone we have salvation. Let us then recall to mind the life of our deceased sister, and in humble trust, hear the words of the Holy Scripture. We will now invite the person that is listed on the order of service as we continue with the remembrance. Invitamos a la persona que va a compartir en el obituario. Good morning, everyone. Nome Isota Brown de Duncan was born to her proud parents, Maria Silvina Brown and Milton Blair, on January 12, 1933, in Puerto Limon, Costa Rica. She moved to the Republic of Panama when she was a teenager. She attended the Abel Bravo High School in the province of Colón and later graduated from Instituto Gusto Arosemena, with a high school diploma degree in commerce. She later took accounting courses at the Panama Canal College, former Canal Zone. Nome was a faithful and devoted worker during the time she worked for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service as an accountant for more than 30 years. She was gifted and talented, she was a gifted and talented woman. The late Harry Lloyd Duncan, and together they raised Selena Yvette Deborah and Donalene. Nome was very well loved and respected by those who knew her. Her well thought words of wisdom were admired and served as orientation and consolation to many. Some of her favorite phrases include, happiness is a journey, not a destination. Chica, para donde vas vestida así? You don't have to go every room, every boom boom that you were invited to. And the most relevant is when you tell her, I love you. She reply, I love you more. Nome was a woman of faith, devoted and dedicated to serving God. She was a faithful member of the Rio Ajo Methodist Church, where she served in various offices on a number of committees as a senior congressional steward Forrester, Rio Araujo Women's League Treasurer, member of the Resources and Development Committee, Chairperson, President of the Panama Circuit Women's Committee at circuit and congressional level. Member of the Rio Araujo Methodist Connection, where she held various positions. She coordinated the meal, kitchen, food, serving at the children's and youth camp. She was a founding member of the Heart Songs female choral, member of the Viudas Dinamicas Shanira, Shante, Sharisa, Shaine, Nelly, Ahani, Israel, Ashley, Brittany, Ebony, and Leah. Six great grandchildren. Madison, Sean, Maria, Mariah, Bovani, and Naima. Extended children, Eduardo, Cecilio, Marisa, Judith, Joanna, and Yolanda. And their children, sisters and brothers, Sonia, Ustina, Mario, and Francisco. Nieces and nephews, and a host of family and friends. She was preceded in death by her parents, Maria Silvina Brown and Milton Blair, her husband, Harry Lloyd Duncan, and also her brother, Leonard Jr. May her soul rest in peace.
concern as I get older, you know, that um, when you pass, the Lord takes you. And if he takes you, that means you're a good person. She's in a better place this morning. I'm going to miss her like crazy. She used to come up to me, and she always look up. ¿Qué pasa, hermano? ¿Qué te, qué te pasa? Dígame. At that time, I felt like a gentle giant because I finally could look down at somebody. And said, if you only knew, ¿qué es lo que me pasa a mí? Pero todo está bien, hermanita. No te preocupes. In that saying, so um, I'm just happy to see everyone that are here this morning. Thank you so much. One of my fondest memories, <laughs> when we were children, <laughs> and 76, I was nine, my brother was six, so you know how old I am. <laughs> and my mother had sent us here for two months on a children excursion at the time back then. They used to have the children excursion, and the plane was, uh, I'm a comedian, please. The plane, the plane was full of picnic. <laughs> all coming to Panama and I remember getting off the plane and seeing Tia and nervous you know with kids last time I was here prior to that was one I was three and so um, we stayed with her for the two months and boy every morning Tia get up breakfast ready and we zipping and we running and we going and we coming Melissa be careful, be, the finger, be careful. Tia, I'm good, Tia, I'm good. We all over the place. My brother, Donna Lynn, the hill, which has now been paved and it's still a hill, that was a steep. She would tell us, be careful, you're gonna hurt yourself. We get on the bikes, we're rolling down. We didn't care where we landed, we were just going. And when we come out, bruise up, she just come, 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 bang, bang. What she do with us? She comes and visit. And Tia, you never saw Tia mad. You never saw Tia mad. And if we were doing something with that gentle touch, no, no, no. No, no, no. She is a gem. She is such a gem. Tia, you will, I can't even go any further. You will be missed. We now continue with the tributes. Okay. Hi, I'm Norma's uh, baby brother, my big sister. I just want to share a short, share a short story with you guys that to this day still sticks with me. She was celebrating her 75th birthday. I came down with my daughters, my sisters, we all were here for that. And I just remember her being upset with me a bit because I wasn't formal in my dress. And you know, normally I like to see things perfect. And she looked at me and because I wore a Guayapana shirt to her 75th birthday party. So she wasn't too happy about that. But I made sure that this time when I'm coming down, that I wear a suit. <laughs> so sis, I'm gonna miss you and I hope I'm made up for it. <laughs> Amen. Amen, give God praise and thanks for all the memories. And those memories we can cherish and receive that joy and that peace in the Lord. We now continue with the tributes. Continuamos con los tributos. Y vamos a invitar a la hermana Sandra McFarlane que nos va a compartir brevemente. Luego tendremos, um, after we will have Rio Abajo Methodist Women's Roy, Liga de las Mujeres Metodistas de Rio Abajo, Duet, un dúo, Brother Stanley Recker and Dr. Juan Redway. I found the answer, Sister Hermana Eva Gallardo, and his eyes is on the sparrow. Sara Melissa, 
Wiley. So I will not be calling the names, just follow the order, and then you can come up to present the tributes. Under the direction of the late Sylvia Toppin, Ms. Duncan and I became members of this Riabao Senior Choir. After a number of years, she decided to resign or step down. She was soft-spoken and reached to the point to sing solo parts, especially during our cantata presentation when you will hear her lovely alto voice. She was a person of order, patient and kind as she served in all capacity and as a circuit steward. In 2019, she was recognized among other members that served over 20 years in the life of this church. May her soul rest in peace. Tender little memories of some word or deed give us strength and courage when we are in need. Blessed little memories help us bear the cross and soften all the bitterness of failure and loss. Precious little memories of little things we have done make the very darkest day a bright and happy one. May our soul rest in peace. Muchas mujeres hicieron el bien, mas tú sobrepasas a todas. Proverbios 31, 29. En nombre de las mujeres del grupo Liga de Mujeres de Río Abajo, que están aquí presentes, estamos aquí para darle honor a una hermana, a una amiga, a una mamá, a una abuela, a una tía, a una maestra, a una cristiana. Ustedes digan el nombre, es ella. Hoy nosotros vamos a compartir o yo voy a compartir un himno leyéndolo porque mi voz no es tan espectacular, porque es el himno que nos guió como mujeres. Ella fue presidenta de este grupo, actualmente era la tesorera, pero quiero agregar algo más. Ella es la presidenta, o era la presidenta actual de las mujeres del MCCA, del circuito de Panamá y lo que ella nos ha enseñado nosotros no lo olvidaremos nunca así que voy a leer el himno porque ha sido nuestra guía dice They who tread the path of labor follow where my feet have trod They who work without complaining do the holy will of God. Nevermore thou needest seek me. I am with thee everywhere. Rise the stone and thou shalt find me. Cleave the wood and I am there. Where the many toll together, there I am among my own. Where the tired workman sleep, there am I with him alone. I, the peace that passeth knowledge, dwell amid the daily strife. 
I, the bread of heaven, am broken in the sacrament of love, of life. Every task, however simple, set the soul that does it free. Every deed of love and mercy done to man is done to me. Nevermore thou needest seek me. I am with thee everywhere. Raise the stone and thou shalt find me. Cleave the wood and I am there. To God be the glory. Great thing he has done. Today we bid farewell to a woman of great faith, a courageous woman, a woman who served the present age, her calling to fulfill, and made it all her power, engaged to her master will. Miss Nome Duncan, conocida como Abuelita, gave her best to God church, his, his people, her family, her community, and otherwise. Even to the end, God allowed her to enjoy the blessing from above. We, the Woman League, honor her service to the kingdom of God and for her devotion to the Methodist Church from the Riabajo Women's League. God bless you, y que la hermana descanse en paz. Le damos gracias a Dios por la vida de la hermana Noemí. Ella con su vida nos ha dejado muchos dignos ejemplos.
The first time I sang this song, it was at a woman re circuit retreat. And Miss Duncan, it touched her. It touched her. And she come, and after she said, lovely. La primera vez que can canté esta canción fue un retiro de las damas a nivel de circuito. Metodista. Y la señora Duncan fue tocada con esta canción. Y yo, cuando me llama el organista y me dice, You remember I found the answer? Uh, I say, Yes, but I don't want to sing no song, no. And so, when I come in by you with the piano, and we went practice this. Thank you, Leo. I was weak and weary, I had gone astray, walking in the darkness, I could not find my way, then a light kept shining. Keep 
you read it every day always count your blessing and always stop to pray learn to keep
should I feel discouraged? And why should the shadows come? Why should my heart be lonely and long for heaven and home? When Jesus is my portion, a constant friend is he. His eyes on the sparrow, and I know he watches over me. I sing because I'm happy. I sing. Because I am free, oh, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches over me. I sing because. I sing because I'm free. Oh, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches over me. Now I need everybody. I sing. Because I'm happy, I sing because I'm free. Oh, his eye is on the sparrow, and I know he watches over me. One more time. I sing because I'm happy. Oh, I sing because she's free. Oh, his eye is on the sparrow. And I know he watches over me. Um, on behalf of the Simpson family, we want to say to the entire family, Duncan family, um, that we issue all our condolences, we extend our love and our prayers continually with you, and we give God thanks for Miss Nomi's service. She showed my family love. She took care of us when we had just moved to Panama, and her spirit, her gentle spirit, the thing that made it so beautiful to be around her. She always encouraged me. I know she encouraged my brothers. And we will always remember her. And we have the hope in Christ Jesus that we will all meet soon. And we pray in God that your hearts will be comforted, knowing that. Once over, I learned to trust thee.
May our trust be Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. We continue on page number four. Continuamos en la página número cuatro del orden de culto. We turn to the responsive reading. We continue with, we, continuamos con la lectura antifonal. Salmo 23. Psalm 23. Your response is the bold letter. Su respuesta es una salida de escuela. El Señor es mi pastor, nada me faltará. Me dan nuevas fuerzas y me lleva por caminos rectos, haciendo honor a su nombre. Me has preparado un banquete ante los ojos de mis enemigos. Has vertido perfume sobre mi cabeza y has llenado mi copa a rebosar. Amén. We continue with the word of God. Continuamos con la palabra de Dios, the Old Testament reading, la lectura del Antiguo Testamento, Proverbios, Proverbs, Proverbios 31, 10 al 31. Invitamos a los lectores que puedan pasar y continuamos con la lectura de la epístola. We continue with the epistle reading, Romans chapter 8, verses 31 to 39. Good morning. A wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband has full confidence in her and lacks nothing of value. She brings him good, not harm, all the days of her life. She selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. She is like the merchant ships, bringing her food from afar. She gets up while it is still dark. She provides food for her family and portions for her servant girls. She considers a field and buys it. Out of her earnings, she plants a vineyard. She sets about her work vigorously. Her arms are strong for her tasks. She sees that her trading is profitable and her lamp does not go out at night. In her hand, she holds the distaff and grasps the spindle with her fingers. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. When it snows, she has no fear for her household, for all of them are clothed in scarlet. She makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. Her husband is respected at the city gate, where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. She makes linen garments and sells them, and supplies the merchants with sashes. She is clothed with strength and dignity. She can laugh at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faithful instruction is on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Her children arise and call her blessed, her husband also, and he praises her. Many women do noble things, but you, surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. Amen.
Buenos días. La epístola es tomada del libro de Romanos, leyendo capítulo versículo 8, capítulo versículo 8, capítulo 8, versículos del 31 al 39. ¿Qué diremos frente a esto? Si Dios está de nuestra parte, ¿quién podrá estar contra nuestra? El que no escatimonia a su propio Hijo sino que entregó por todos nosotros. ¿Cómo no habrá de darnos generosamente junto a Él todas las cosas? ¿Quién acusará a los que Dios ha escogido? Dios es el que justifica, quien condenará. Cristo Jesús es el que murió e incluso resucitó, y está a la derecha de Dios y e intercede por nosotros. ¿Quién nos apartará del amor de Cristo? La tribulación o la angustia, la persecución, el hambre, la indigencia, el peligro o la violencia. Así está escrito, por tu causa siempre nos lleva a la muerte. Nos tratan como ovejas para el matadero. Sin embargo, en todo esto somos más que vencedores, por medio de aquel que nos amó. Pues estoy convencido de que ni la muerte, ni la vida, ni los ángeles, ni los demonios, ni los presentes, ni los porvenir, ni los poderosos, ni lo más alto, ni lo profundo, ni alguna, ni, al, ni cosa alguna en toda la creación podrá apartarnos del amor que Dios nos ha manifestado en Cristo Jesús nuestro Señor. Palabra de Dios. Continue with the following hymn on page number five. Continuamos con el himno en página número cinco. Amazing Grace, Sublime Gracia is found in 162 in the BIP hymnal. Amazing Grace, how sweet the song that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see.
os preparé lugar, vendré otra vez y os tomaré a mí mismo, para que donde yo estoy, vosotros también estéis. Y sabéis a dónde voy, y sabéis el camino. Le dijo Tomás, Señor, no sabemos a dónde vas. ¿Cómo pues podemos saber el camino? Jesús le dijo, yo soy el camino y la verdad y la vida. Nadie viene al Padre sino por mí. La paz os dejo, mi paz os doy. Yo no os lo doy como el mundo la da. No se turbe vuestro corazón, ni tenga miedo. Esta es la palabra de Dios. Te alabamos, oh Señor. Please be seated. Pueden sentarse. Charm is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her a share in the fruit of her hands, and let her works praise her in the city gates. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of our hearts be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Amen. Pensaba compartir anécdotas, pero creo que ya es de más, porque suficientes se han compartido, amén. Y también han habido sorpresas, damos gracias a Dios por las sorpresas también. Así que quiero hacer algo que hicimos a través de los años de mi servicio aquí hasta ahora con mi querida hermana Nomei que fue estudiar la palabra de Dios juntos, no uno a uno, sino en comunidad. Cuando reiniciamos los estudios bíblicos aquí en Río Abajo, después de una pequeña pausa, en una forma muy lapidaria, dice que la capacidad, y voy a usar un término coloquial, de, y donde más te puedes arreglar, más atención te ponen. Pero esos no son los valores de la Biblia. De hecho, aquí la Biblia dice, una mujer que teme al Señor. ¿Una mujer que qué? Esa es la mujer que debe ser ala, alabada. Denle su porción del fruto de su mano y que sus obras sean alabadas en la puerta de la ciudad. How do we determine a person's individual and collective value? How do we determine that? How do we know someone is worth something? Scripture says that you are worth because God made you and made me. Our worth comes from our divine making. But Proverbs goes and says towards the end of the book, that the personal and collective value of an individual is the impact that they have on their family, work, and society as a whole. We're not talking about influencers here now. We're talking about concrete impact, life-changing impact. I believe that no part of this morning there has been a dry eye, not even mine. Nothing wrong with that. Because that's our response to the what? Impact her life had on us. Proverbs 31, 10 to 31 is written from the perspective of 
the ideal wife according to her husband and children. The woman is not talking about herself. This is not a self-praise. This is not self-congratulatory. This is not a TikTok. This is a husband and his children praising his wife, their mother. Valoramos a las personas por lo que nos pueden dar. Y a veces se nos olvida que hay que valorarlos, valo, valorarlos por lo intangible. Lo que no se puede medir, lo que no se puede comprar. El autor de Proverbios 31, 10 al 31, escriben desde la perspectiva del esposo y los hijos, hijas. Valoran a esta gran mujer desde esa perspectiva, desde cómo ellos la ven a ella. Esto no es aplauso ni darse sobre la espalda. Es ellos viendo el impacto de ella sobre la vida de ellos. Three things I want to leave with you. The passage speaks of a woman who is mindful. Those of you who live in the U.S. would have heard that word very often, mindfulness. We, we need to find a proper translation for it in Spanish. Um, mindfulness. A mindful person organizes themselves and their affairs. In fact, this woman is praised because she organizes herself and her affairs. The mortal remains of our sister are just that, the mortal remains. One time we went together to bury one of our members and her, she whispered in my ears, I already have my space here, you know, Rev. Me and my husband got it long time ago. Oh. What you call that? Mindfulness. Was it running last minute to see? Well, but no. Long time ago. That's what she told me time ago. So she wasn't worried. In fact, she could point, there's this person here and the other person is here. And she wasn't even thinking of dying, but she was prepared to die. You hear the difference? She wasn't thinking about it, but she was what? Mindfulness. Mindfulness helps us to prepare, to get organized. All of us suffer from that problem. Rushing last minute to get things done. And then blaming other people because we messed up. You know, when she would say to me, Rev, I need to meet with you. I say, okay. After my mother passed, I start calling her mother. And they have a similarity. One of these days, I'll show you the photos. And I'd say, um, okay, mother, no problem. And when we came to sit down, Every item that was going to be discussed was already noted down. So you never wasted time. By the time we go through this, she looked down at the last thing she had to say and said, okay, we're good now. And it was enjoyable. Mindfulness. Respecting other people's time. Respecting other people's contributions. You would see her walk up to somebody, young, old, whatever age. Once they had done something in church that was worth noting, she don't get up and make no scandal in church. But I can guarantee you, you go meet her either at the exit, and if you go downstairs for the coffee, she's waiting for you to tell you, well done. Sometimes she'll tackle you in the back here. No public scandal. I loved her for that. Because growth doesn't happen in scandal. Growth happens in what? Silence. Mindfulness. Hermana, no me tenía esa capacidad de estar consciente, de tener una conciencia de su ambiente, de su derredor, de la gente que la rodeaba. A tal punto que ella, una vez me acuerdo que venía de un viaje y me llama y me dice, Tómese los días siguientes libres. Usted sabe que el dedo, ¿verdad? Por eso me reía. Cada vez que alguien hablaba del dedo, ese dedo. Y así mismo me hacía. 
Sí, señora. Estar consciente de que tú no estás en el mundo tú solo. De que hay otros que te rodean. De que hay otros que necesitan de tu presencia, de tu amor, de tu tiempo. Amén. Mis hijos cuando hicieron su dúo ahí, eso yo, eso fue una de las sorpresas. Pero quizás es importante explicarle a algunos por qué es una sorpresa y por qué lo hicieron. Las familias pastorales, cuando cambiamos de lugar a lugar en la iglesia metodista, podemos llegar a lugares donde la gente nos trata como basura. Y es la verdad. Pero vamos y trabajamos. Lo bello de haber llegado aquí, a pesar de todo lo demás que no estaba en orden, había una cosa que sí estaba en orden. Y no me vino, y yo todavía estaba en Honduras, yo soy de acá para los que no saben. Todavía estaba allá, y mi esposa me llama y me dice, mi nombre me llevó. ¿Oyeron las palabras? Mi nombre me llevó. Y fueron a comprar platos y otras cosas que se necesitaban para la casa. Y aún cuando yo llegué, ella decía, pastor, teníamos que haber recogido esto, pero no lo recogimos, necesitamos recoger esto. Y así. De hecho, el obispo en ese tiempo, el obispo Jesús dijo, la hermana no me anda por ahí. Y yo dije, sí. Él dice, entonces tú estás tranquilo, no te preocupes, todo está bien. Mindfulness. The woman in the passage here is praised for her mindfulness because she has her affairs herself and her affairs organized, but she's also praised for her industriousness. Another nice big English word that doesn't always translate good in Spanish. Industriousness. That is, the person that is industrious looks into the future and seeks the welfare. In the case of the woman here in the passage, she looks into the future and seeks welfare for her home. I don't need to read over the passage to you. You can read it for yourself. She's praised for that. She don't get up late. She don't do things one hour to the next. And she's always ahead of the curve. You notice that? Winter coming, she starts preparing the clothes for winter before winter reach. Um... You know, they have to be food in the house. She ensures that everybody who has a responsibility in the, because this is not a poor woman. Let's start, let's clear that up. She ain't poor. But she has servants. And so, because she's not a poor woman, she organizes her staff. You in charge of food, get that ready. You in charge of this. She's not sitting down and playing pretty. She is industrious. When we would prepare for 24th in the night here, she would, remember the first year when we were preparing for the 24th, it was my first Christmas Eve service here with the congregation in 2016. I arrived in, in August, September, mid-September, Ms. Nomei said, we need to sit down and talk. And here the finger again, we need to sit down and talk. And I said, sure. And she said, Rev, We normally do this on the 24th in the night. And we started, you remember what I said? Mid what? When was Christmas Eve? Okay, just keep that in mind. Mid-September. And we sit down and, and I said, well, okay, bring me out of service and herself and Miss Lou and myself, the three of us sit down and we start working on things. And she said, okay, so and so. And, and we discussed and we debate and I shared and they shared. And we came to an understanding. I said, all right, I want to do something for Christmas Eve. I want the young people and the senior choir to sing together. She said, no problem, I'll get them organized. So said, so done. When we had our first practice, they were members of the senior choir and they were members of the young people. That's industriousness. You heard what I call that? That's industriousness. So by the time we came to the 24th, I was relaxed because we had been working for over two months before. Industriousness. You look into the future and seek welfare, not only for yourself, but for others around you. 
and you work so that can happen. I was told stories about when she worked. She told me the stories. One time we went to do one thing and she was explaining to me how she used to go from work, how she used to get, I mean, I don't have about the time now where everybody has a car. And how she would get there on time. And how she had to contend with some people who, you know, she wasn't tall and, and, and big and, boast, and, and boisterous. Petite. You know. But she had to do, she was industrious in her work because she had to show that she could do what she had to do. Amen? To the point that she earned their respect. And all of us need to learn to be industrious. Some of us eat the bread of idleness. Nah, not, don't, don't know what to do with our own time. Tenemos que aprender a dedicarnos a trabajar. Y dejar de poner tanta excusa. Yo nunca oí a esta señora decirme, eso no se puede hacer. De hecho, teniendo la edad de sus propios hijos, ella me miró y me dice, pastor, me parece una buena idea, vamos a trabajarlo a ver cómo funciona. Aunque a ella le parece un poquito raro, pero vamos a trabajarlo a ver cómo funciona. Esa mentalidad de trabajo, de progreso, de que hay algo más que se puede hacer. Quizás lo hemos estado haciendo así por 500 años, pero quizás 501 tenemos que hacerlo de otra forma distinta. Y nunca la oí, oí, oí hablar mal de su país. En este caso ahora sabemos que fue su país adoptivo. Pero nunca la oí hablar mal. ¿Y sabe cuando digo que no la oí hablar mal? Hay panameños parece que, que nos dedicamos al pasatiempo de que todo aquí está mal. Parecería que viviéramos en Afganistán. No, no vivimos en Afganistán. Vivimos en un lugar donde a veces las cosas no se hacen como se deben hacer porque somos demasiado juega vivo. Pero no somos un mal lugar. Porque la mayoría de los de ustedes que están aquí, aquí fue donde se formaron. Y para ser más exactos, se formaron en esta iglesia. Y si la cosa fuera tan mal, ustedes no estarían haciendo lo que están haciendo ahora. Y eso fue lo que ella siempre insistió. La iglesia tiene que funcionar, las cosas se tienen que hacer bien porque ella no estaba pensando en ahora que ella estaba aquí sentada en el culto. Ella estaba pensando ¿cuándo? Futuro. ¿Qué va a pasar mañana cuando no estemos? Or as she would put it to me in English, Rev, none of us are here to stay. And finally, faithfulness. The woman in the passage is praised for her faithfulness. It says, the passage, the verse that I read, verse 30. A woman that what? Fears the Lord should be. You sound like you don't know it. What? Oh, a woman that fears the Lord should be what? The fear of the Lord is not a woman who is walking about afraid of the Lord and and hiding and doing all kind of rituals to show that she's a... That's not what the passage is talking about. A woman who has deep reverence, respect, and awe for God should be... And the Hebrew word is so complex that I had to use three words in English to explain it. Reverence. Awe. Respect for God. Should be what? Praise. You see, if you have love for God, love for your neighbor, and loyalty to Christ and his church, you should be praised. And this woman had all of those. She had love for God. She had love for her neighbor. One young adult sent a message thanking her for having contributed to her formation when she went to study music. Loyalty to Christ. There was nothing more important to her than serving Jesus and his church. I, can, I am almost sure that all my colleagues who have predeceased, pre preceded me in the work here, 
whether living or having gone on to glory, can say that at some point when they intersected with this woman, their life was blessed. You can't say that about everybody. Sorry. And I'm not a lie. And I'm not casting stones either. Her faithfulness extended to the fact that she had this maternal spirit, not in the softy, softy, mambe, pambe, maternal way, style the picnic type of maternal spirit. But maternal spirit in the actual meaning of the term. When she needed to be loving, she could be loving. And when she needed to be firm, she could be firm. And the amazing thing about the evenness of her personality is that she could be firm and still don't, don't raise her voice. All of us need to learn that, right? Let's make a note in your book. Make a note in your book. Something had happened, and I was sitting down in the, uh, in the study. She walked in, and I was taking one of those quick snooze, you know. You, we tend to call it power nap. Um, and she walked in, and she said, Rev. And I opened, I said, yes. She said, you need to observe your day off. You know, in almost 30 years of ministry, very few people have ever told me that. I have people have told me, you don't need no day off because you're working for God. And so, may look at me and she say, you need to observe your day off. And I was like, what do you mean? And the next, you know what followed next now? The next time she asked me, when is the day off? So when I told her, and then she'd ring the phone. And then she'd come for a meeting. And she'd see me out. Oh, Rev, isn't it your day off? Yes, ma'am. Firm. Motherly. Respectful. Faithful. The understanding was that if you burn yourself out, you can't do the work. And she didn't only apply that to the pastors that served her. She applied that to everybody around her. If she saw you running yourself into a wall, she would pull you by the side. I can guarantee you, any time you saw Ms. Nome have somebody in a little corner, literally little corner, because she never do nothing big in space, in a little corner, you're either getting praised or upbraided. No in between. Because that's a spirit of faithfulness. She loved God. No question about that. She loved her neighbor. Anytime you read an obituary and you hear about extended children, that's love for neighbor. Because you had enough when you're raising your four. <laughs> you know, because they could put other people children too. And loyalty. First thing she reminded me when, I, when she met me, she said, I am from Trinity. Our Methodist church in Cologne. And I was like, okay. <laughs> she made that clear to me, right? I said, I'm from Trinity. She said, Riyabahu has been my home, but I'm from Trinity. And she would make those linkages. Loyalty. La fidelidad. Y la fidelidad de nuestra hermana no, no era una fidelidad a una persona, era una fidelidad a la obra. ¿Sabe la diferencia, verdad? Pues hay gente que tiene fidelidad a personas. Yo funciono bien cuando fulano está encargado. Yo funciono bien cuando fulana está encargado. No mis no me. A ella no le importa quién era. Y tú podías nombrar pastores que algunos aquí ya no se acuerdan, pero ella sí. Si sí, él era así, 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 tenía este y esta familia y la esposa y ta, ta, ta. O el líder tal, ta, 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 ta. Una memoria increíble. Porque su fidelidad era a quién? A Dios. Su fidelidad era a quién? A Cristo. Su fidelidad era a quién? A la iglesia de Cristo. Amén. So how do we honor our ancestors? As we close, how do we honor our ancestors? Oh, we need to name something after her. Yeah, that could be one way. 
Oh, we need to dedicate this to her. Yeah. We Methodists have a way of creating saints without actually putting them up in a church. Not for today, for another sermon. But how do we honor? How do we really honor? By holding to the values they instill, by updating the projects that they worked on, and by moving on. The mortal remains of this dear sister, I could tell you if she was right here, she would tell us, I don't want no sappiness carrying on after I got. Because that wasn't her personality. We're not saying we're not going to feel it. But she would expect us to journey on. You know, if we get into this thing about, oh, when Sister Nome was here, Sister Nome not here no more. She's gone. And she would be the first one to tell you, stop it. Journey on. What projects did she start that were not completed? Journey on. Finish it. There are projects in the family. You know what they are. Finish them. You want to honor her? Finish them. Some of you might be a little on and off with your life in, in Christ. Get it right. Because I'm sure she told you more than once. I saw you going to honor her. Hold on to the values. Kindness, caring, loving, discipline, industrious, mindful. Hold on to that and live that. And that's not only for the family, that's for the whole of us, the church. For me, right back down. Because that's how we're going to really honor her. By minding our tongue. That has a serious problem we still got here. You have something to say to somebody? Learn what she teach you. Find a little corner and sit down and talk. Not sit down and tell. Sit down and talk. And don't go assuming you better than. Go with an understanding that I'm coming to you because I want you to do better. These are the living out of the values of the Christian faith. And don't misunderstand me. I ain't saying she was perfect. Because none of us are. But she was consistent. And that's all God is asking for. Consistent. Thank you, choir. Consistency. This a hot and then a cold and then I kind of look warm. Book of Revelation say you're going to get spit out of God's mouth. Not mine, out of God's mouth. Consistency. How do we honor our ancestors? By honoring God. By following Christ. And by being consistent in our exercise of the values that they taught como honramos a nuestros ancestros no con los labios y con la boca y con el tebereque y la bulla bulla por eso uno de los dichos de ella me gustó verlo cada bum bum cada riquitiqui no es para ti no somos tilín estamos llamados a servir a Dios por lo tanto hacemos lo que tenemos que hacer con amor, con dedicación y con los ojos puestos en Cristo. ¿Queremos honrarla? Eso es lo que tenemos que hacer. Es un privilegio. Es un honor decirle adiós a esta generación. No porque eran perfectos, sino porque eran consistentes. No era, una, no era un grupo de valores hoy y otro mañana y pusieron la televisión y vieron a alguien decir otra cosa así que van a seguir a ese y escucharon otra cosa en la radio y se fueron con ese. 
O pusieron un TikTok de 30 segundos y ahora van a cambiar toda su vida por alguien que les habló por 30 segundos. Ellos no eran así. Este es el camino, vamos por aquí. Pero lo bonito de ella es que ella también podía darse cuenta de que mmm, ya no se puede hacer así, vamos a hacerlo de otra forma. Y eso es digno de admirar y de imitar. Yo puedo darme el lujo de decir que era progresista. ¿Y saben por qué era progresista? Dígame por qué. Porque tenía la capacidad de hacer los ajustes y los cambios cuando fueran necesarios. Algunos somos como las piedras. No aguantamos peso y no dejamos que el agua nos haga hueco. Hay que aprender a ajustarse. Damos gracias al autor de Proverbios. We give God thanks for the writer of Proverbs for including at the very end of the book this praise. Amen. And we give God thanks for lending us no me for a time. Well, more than a time, 88 years, that's a long time. We thank him for lending us, lending her to us, and I say lending her to us, but gifting her to her family. And we can't love her more than her family love her, so please, no exaggerations, please. We can't love her more than her family did. And we can't miss her more than they gonna miss her. But what we can do together is to be mindful, to be industrious, and to be faithful. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue with the Apostle Creed. Continuamos con el credo de los apóstoles en página número 5, page number 5. I invite you to climb stand as you are able. Les invitamos que se pongan de pies como les es posible. Together. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under the Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of sins, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Can you be seated? We will now help receive the offerings. Ahora recibimos la ofrenda. The choir will render us with an item.
myriads of songs that are sung. And we are glad that Mame has been promoted to that place. And may we, through our gifts and our service, seek to join her one day. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Can you be seated? Pueden sentarse. We continue on page number six. Continuamos en página número seis. The Thanksgiving, la acción de gracia. Where it says C's, C is the congregation response and M is the minister response. La letra C es donde responde la congregación, letra M, donde el ministro responde. The Thanksgiving, la acción de gracia. Congregación, alabanza. Que nos creaste en tu propia imagen. Para eter, can you stand please? Pueden ponerse de pie, por favor, gracias. Podemos comenzar, disculpen. Alabanza. Que nos creaste en tu propia imagen para eterna comunión contigo. Quien ha vencido al millón de la muerte y abrió el reino de los cielos para todos los creyentes. Y está ahora sentado a la diestra de Dios en la gloria del Padre. Que da testimonio en nosotros de nuestra aceptación con el Padre y ha venido a ser garantía de nuestra eterna heredad. Espíritu Santo, un Dios por siempre. Amén.
we invite the person who will be sharing the words of thanks. Invitamos a las personas que van a estar compartiendo las palabras de agradecimiento. We, the family, expressed our sincere appreciation for the overwhelming outpouring of love and affection, the prayers, calls, and acts of kindness and concern throughout this sad period of bereavement. Nosotros, la familia, expresamos nuestro sincero agradecimiento por las muestras de amor y afecto, las oraciones, llamadas y expresiones de cariño y simpatía durante este periodo de tristeza y luto. My name is Leah, and I would like to read the poem, I'm Free. Don't grieve for me, for now I'm free. I'm following the path God has chosen for me. I took his hand when I heard him call. I turned my back and left it all. I cannot stay another day to laugh, to love, to work, or play. Task left undone must stay that way. I've now found peace at the end of the day. If my parting has left a void, then fill it with remembered joys. A friendship shared, a laugh, a kiss, be not burdened with times of sorrow. Look for the sunshine of tomorrow. My life's been full. I savored much, good friends, good time, a loved one's touch. Perhaps my time seems all too brief. Don't lengthen your pain with undue grief. Lift up your heart in peace to thee. God wanted me now, he set me free. Hello, uh, may I have your attention in church? El dueño de un Nissan. 967868, por favor, hay que moverlo con urgencia. Halo, ¿se oye? Dueño del Nissan 967868, Nissan. The recessional hymn, el himno de salida, when we all get to heaven, cuando estemos en gloria, 650. Sing the wondrous love of Jesus, sing his mercy and his grace. In the mansion bright and blessed, he'll prepare for us a place. Can you stand as you are able? Piano, piano. When we are 
get to heaven What a day of rejoicing that will be When we are sing Jesus We'll sing and shout the victory Adelante en la lucha Oh soldado de la fe Cuando estemos en gloria, en presencia de nuestro Redentor, a una voz la historia, diremos del gran vencedor. When we all, when we all get to heaven, what a day. Rejoicing that will be when we all see Jesus, we'll sing and shout the victory. Church, when we all, when we all, what a day of rejoicing that will, that will be when we all, when we all see Jesus. We'll sing and shout the victory When we all, when we all see Jesus We'll sing and shout the victory When we all see Jesus We'll sing and shout the victory Shout victory, church! Shall we to the church? We have shot a victory. Oh. 